dilapidated and forgotten homes, abandoned businesses, and a population that's decreasing as people leave in search of a better life. Welcome to Logan, West Virginia. In the past year alone, 5,000 people have left the state. Those who remain are struggling to survive. Where they claim to go. Johnny Hager used to work in a mine, but he was laid off over a year ago. I only worked on one surface mine, and uh, it was it was pretty pretty nice job. You know, a lot of guys made you know good money. It was a good, safe job to work on. Good income, good medical. Uh, wasn't much to complain about. But that has changed, not only for Johnny, but also for some 10,000 miners in West Virginia who have lost their jobs in the past eight years. Since 1979, West Virginia has been one of the states with the highest level of unemployment. And as coal mining decreases, it's a problem that continues to grow. Stan Morgan owns an electronics store. He used to have 10 staff, but he had to lay people off to keep his business going. We're down to uh, myself, my wife, who works here pretty much for free just to help me out, and one other person. So we have a total of three employees now versus 10 six years ago. Right now in Logan, it's 26 degrees. Kayla Macram is the news director at the local radio station. She says the current poverty crisis is a big issue in the town. I would say the best word to describe it is frustrating. Um, a lot of people feel hopeless. That's, that's a common response. All we've ever known basically in this town is coal mining. And when it was good, then everyone here was doing well. But when it pulled out, the entire economy contracted. Almost 18% of the population of West Virginia lives below the poverty line, 3% higher than the national average. A plan to solve that problem could be the factor that determines how they vote in this year's presidential election. Andrea Arenas, TRT World, Logan, West Virginia.